Hi. Get ClickUp's and the video I'm about to uh, make has to be um, mirrored and copied and shown because the Muslims are deleting it. Um, I looked all over the YouTube. I couldn't find it. There, I, there was a time I could find it, but now YouTube is deleting it. So I found one and I'm going to put it on uh, Minds and BitChute because BitChute and Minds don't let the Muslims delete the videos that you show. So I'm going to put this on BitChute and Minds after I do it here. Here it goes. Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Mr. Hijab was ready for this, so he proceeded to smash my mistranslation. He says, Allah says, uh, that Allah yusalli ala nabi and he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, what the words in Arabic mean. Don't hit, speak to Salah. This, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. According to Mr. Hijab, what did I say? And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. What did I actually say multiple times? Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. What's the correct translation? And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. So Allah prays for Muhammad is the correct translation? For, not to the Prophet. And what did I say was the correct translation? Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet, for the Prophet, for the Prophet. So my career is over because I mistranslated the Arabic by translating it the exact same way Mr. Hijab translated it. What would you think, Muslims? And then later on, I've, I've seen another video where Hijab tries to say hey. that he didn't say praise for, he says praise. I was like, praise? P-R-A? He tried to change history. P-R-A-I-S-E? <laughs> Muhammad Hijab is doing taqiyya, lying for Allah, which apparently is fine in Islam. But in Christianity and other religions, lying is of Satan. So what does that, what does that mean to you? You think you're going to get uh, virgins if you kill for Allah? You think you're going to get sex in heaven if you kill for Allah? I don't think so. Bye.